I've got one of our newest handicappers with us today. It's Damian Sosh. Well, we've got college basketball matchups. Just a reminder, don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube page and hit the bell if you want notifications every time we post a new video. Villanova at Butler. Both of these teams are coming off a loss, but they're both ranked. Villanova's 10 in the country. Butler's 19 in the country. Villanova's 2 in the Big East. Butler is 5 in the Big East. Um, Villanova's coming off a really embarrassing loss to Creighton at home. Butler only a four-point loss to Providence. I'm showing Butler minus two and the total at 135 and a half. What do you think about this one? Yeah, uh, looking into this game, I think it's going to be a really, really close game. It should be very good, very entertaining. Um, you know, as you mentioned, Villanova losing to Creighton. Kind of embarrassed, 76 to 61 at home. Shot the ball very poorly in that game. It's kind of unusual for Villanova because um, they're very good at executing their offense. They don't really, um, they, they played a slow pace. But uh, they do have five players averaging double figures. Um, so I was a little surprised to see just how poorly they shot the ball in that game. Um, this Villanova team, though, it's not as deep as in years past for Jay Wright. Typically, uh, during Villanova's title runs, Jay Wright, uh, it, he went routinely eight, nine deep. This team only has seven guys, really, that average 10 or more minutes per game. So Teague's an issue. If guys get into foul trouble, it's definitely going to be an issue for this Villanova team. Uh, Butler, you mentioned, lost Providence 65-61. They don't want to lose two in a row at home. Uh, they're a veteran team. They start three juniors and two seniors. However, there is a big injury right now for Butler. It's looking like Aaron Thompson. He's missed the three previous games due to injury, wrist injury. Actually suffered in the Villanova game the first time they played. It's looking like he's day-to-day, -day, but it's looking like he's not going to be able to go for Butler. And he only averages seven points a game. He's the point guard. Everything goes through him. He gets the guys, gets the team into their offense. He gets the offense flowing. Uh, without him, Villanova's going to be able to focus more uh, shutting down guys like Kamar Baldwin. Um, then they can, they Creighton's three point shooters like Jordan Tucker. I'm sorry, Butler's three point shooters, shooters like uh, Jordan Tucker, Sean McDermott. Um, you know, Villanova won this first meeting 76 to 61. I don't see either team really scoring a lot of points in this game. Uh, as I mentioned, Villanova plays at that slow pace. Butler looking like without a starting point guard. I actually like the un under um, as my play in this basketball game.